So in today's video, let's solve one very, very common problem when it comes to photographers and lighting. And what is that? We have to learn how to understand. Sometimes the simpler it is, the better. So let me show you a very simple one light portrait and a white backdrop and show you how I lit and shot this image. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel and welcome to my small home studio. So for you guys who are familiar with the channel, you know that this is my normal shooting area. But today, this very, very small 2.5 meter by 4 meter shooting area will not be used. But what we will just use is this plain white backdrop. Now this plain white backdrop, what does it represent? A plain white wall. And sometimes, you know, we get so overwhelmed or they, we want to actually shoot with so many lights. We want to do this, we want to do that. But sometimes it's just nice to shoot with just one light. And the light that I chose today is my Profoto B10X+. Plus. However, you can always use another light at your disposal. But the only thing that I would actually suggest for this particular shoot to work is to get a big modifier. And this time I'm using my MagMod. This is a MagMod 42 inch MagBox. And it's a relatively big modifier, but not overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly big that you can't get it. So this one is a, it's for me, it's a medium sized modifier. It's not even such a big modifier. Then you know what? I'll just put it here. I won't even do 45 degrees. I won't do too much. I'll just maybe point it a bit down. And here's the thing. I'll have my subject actually by the wall. So let's talk about the camera first before I call in my model. So the camera that I'm going to be using today is this one. This is my Sony A7R Mark V. And the, the lens I'm going to use is the 50mm 1.2. Now the reason why I'm going to be using the 50mm 1.2 is I'm going to do a half body portrait, but this time horizontal. So I'll just switch this to horizontal mode, maybe bring this down a bit. Now as you can see, I actually have my iPad here, which is not connected yet, but let me connect it now. So a lot of you guys have been asking how I actually make this iPad work with my camera. So here's, here's how I do it. I have my USB-C cord. I plug it in. Plug it into the USB-C port of my iPad. Wait, let's use my face so that you guys don't see. And then I turn on an app. It's called Monitor Plus. So this is the app here, Monitor Plus. So you could see that I'm actually showing a live view already of what my camera is seeing. Now, by doing that, I'm able to basically, wait, I did not, let me do it on the fly now. I can basically screen record. So in screen recording, wait, let me show you. So I'm screen recording with my microphone on, and I just start recording. So that's how I show you guys the live view of what my camera is seeing. So right now, what am I going to do? So I have my pro photo here. It's triggered remotely using this trigger here. I'll set first my ambient light exposure. So I want to make sure that I'm removing all existing ambient light. So maybe this time I'll actually shoot at f2 instead of 1.2 or maybe 2.8, bring it down to 250. And that should be good enough actually. Even a little bit of light leak is good so that it allows me to open up the shadows a bit. All right. So with this, it's time for me to call in my wife, Coco, who will be my subject for today. Come on in, babe. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. Oh, you look fantastic. I really love the way you look. So and of course, we'd like to thank our friend Gold Magtoto, who actually did Coco's makeup today. And she really does an amazing job. Look at the way she did your smoky eyes and the color. I, I truly, truly love it. Now, so what I did was that you know, sometimes when we were saying earlier, we tend to overcomplicate everything. Now, one of the things that I noticed with flash photographers, right, I'm sure, babe, is that this is what they would do. They would, which is basically what I did earlier, they would remove all existing ambient light. Just because they have a flash, they'll say, okay, I want to remove all ambient light. So we'll shoot it like this. So what we'll do then is we will shoot something like that and then make it stronger and say it's underexposed. And then from here, we'll say, oh, there's too much contrast. We'll add another light. We'll do this. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do so many things. And that's exactly what I'm saying. It's overcomplication because what we tend to not understand is that more often than not, we actually have good existing ambient light that we can use not as a main light, 
but rather as a fill light. In which case we have beautiful video light here. It could also be the sun. It could be a lot of different types of light. Even if we turn on the ceiling lights, it's actually good fill light already. All you need to do is control it properly. So I'll do that now, but let's say I'll shoot it at 1.2. So now I'm bringing more ambient light in. Then maybe I'll put it at 1 over 60. But you see, this is still relatively underexposed. However, I can now supplement it with my flash plus. This is the direction that the light is coming from. But Coco's angle, she likes it from here. So having to shoot her from here, I now have to shift my main light, which is now going to be my flash. That's why my flash is here in this area. So we'll do one shot now. But I'm at 5.1, so I'm assuming this is going to be overexposed. And that's exactly what happened. So now all I need to do is bring down my flash, maybe bring it to about three. So that's 30% power of this 500 watt flash. And look at that. Beautiful balance of existing ambient light and flash. So all I have to do again, remove this one. That's ambient light. This one now is the one with flash. And look at how beautiful that I actually I feel that it's even a bit overexposed. So look at this. One more. Do you like the way you look, babe? Yeah, I do. However, one thing that Gold did in this particular um, makeup is that she made you look more bronze, correct? And look at the way it looks like now. It's beautiful, correct? But the moment I take a shot, the color changes because it's set at 5600 Kelvin. My, my white balance is set as 5600 Kelvin. This light is 5600 Kelvin. This light is 5600 Kelvin. Now, what if, since all these lights match in terms of color, what if I boost up or change my white balance, so let's say 7,000, and give you that golden glow? Even if I don't have my backdrop as pure white, I do like the feel of this one. It's like off-white. It's just beautiful, simple portraits. One light, we're using existing ambient light, we're supplementing with flash. That is what we mean by just simplifying everything and creating beautiful portraits. Babe, you look fantastic. Okay, let's do this. All right, go. Wow, face here. What if I bring it down a bit lower so that I don't crop your fingers? Are you good with that? Wait, I got to bring down the iPad. Okay, are we still recording? Yes. Yeah, all right, okay, good. Wow, oh, that's all right. Beautiful, I love it. Actually, I could even feather the light a bit more. Love it, yeah. Oh wow, look at that. Look at how beautiful that image is. And that's straight out of the camera. I'm recording everything that my camera is shooting, so all the images that you're seeing is straight out of the camera. Again, wow, babe, you look fantastic. I love, I love how Gold did your makeup, and also um, Donita for the hair, right? Nice, tilt your head this way. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So what you're seeing now is basically, this is ambient light and this is ambient light and flash. Simplicity. Basically maximizing what's there, understanding what type of light you have and just making the most out of your light. You look fantastic, babe. I love it. One more. I could shoot you all day doing this. And that's beautiful, fantastic, babe. That was effortless. It was so easy to do that, right? And again, it's all about making things so simple. In other words, we have to see and understand the light. When we see and understand the light, we can actually use it. We don't necessarily have to remove it all the time. One light. One white wall is more than enough to create beautiful images. Now, if you have any questions with regards to the techniques that I used here, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, leave a comment in the comment section below too. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you guys want to see some of the images that I've created, you can always find me in my social media sites and Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, all at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.